Today we're working with an Allen Bradley Panel View 600 Plus, and we're going to replace the touchscreen. Uh, and this touchscreen the, has a little nick in it, and uh, we have to replace it. So what we have here is a replacement touchscreen from Monotech. We'll just go through the different steps. Uh, you're going to need flat screwdrivers and uh, a knife and some cardboard strips. So I'll just you just walk through taking them apart. Back cover comes off. There's, we take lift this little tab up, disconnect the display part, lift this little tab up, disconnect the touchscreen, some clips, pop the computer board off. And this is the latest version from Allen Bradley. Um, there's these four clips that hold the next plastic piece down. Fingers, or if you need to use a needle nose pliers, will also work. Now we have the LCD. Uh, let me just, just lift that up. The next, next part's a little tricky. I've, I've already removed this touchscreen just for, to make the video faster. Uh, I'll just show you what you have to do. Just take some cardboard strips, just put them along the edge here. These are your little tabs. I'll help you instead of trying to deal with them constantly popping them in and out. What you're going to end up doing now with a knife and be very careful, always cut away from you. Uh, you'll end up pushing down on the glass slightly and slicing the, uh, the rubber. Um, you'll end up cutting it. Always try to cut down and away from you. And, and then you're slowly pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. And until finally the it gives away and it pops out. As I said, I've already cleaned, taken it off. There'll be a little bit of residue along here that's holding the touchscreen in place, which is this touchscreen. And you just peel it away. It just comes off with your finger. You just rub it, and then eventually this is what that big blob is, is uh, all the leftovers. And you'll have some leftover in here. And so that's how we, we remove it. Now, uh, if you're trying to buy this from a company in China or whatever, um, just be aware that there's multi multiple different types of panel view 600 plus uh, touchscreens. There's one with this connector, uh, and then there's one with a wider connector. And physically, they probably they're exactly the same, but the connectors are different. So if you you have a, a chance of buying the wrong one online, but if you call Monotech, Monotech could give you could tell you exactly what you need. Uh, so we're going to take the touchscreen supplied by Monotech. And we're going to end up installing it right back in. Uh, the, the, on the computer side, there's this is the newer version that has a smaller little plug on it. I just have a, an example of a, the older style. Uh, this is the type of plug on the older style. So they're showing you that there's there's two different types, and, and if you just got to be careful with that when you're replacing these. Um, also, you get this roll of tape with the with Monit from Monotech to uh, seal the monitor back up and and you're just going to cut it in strips and uh, you're, you're going to place it back into here nice and straight so it doesn't over go over the lines and you're going to cut it down to size you're going to put the touch screen in place here 
making sure it's seated so it doesn't fall off. We have, I still have the plastic. Uh, gotta make sure that's off because <laughs> don't want that on anymore. So when that's off, take it off both sides, and then you're going to end up pushing it down into place, nice and straight, and turn it over. Look, make sure it's that it's not uh, hasn't fallen off and it's nice and uh, that's perfectly centered. And then you're going to reassemble it, uh, remembering that this is where your touchscreen goes. This is where your uh, your LCD panel gets plugged in. And you're going to just follow the steps backwards and reassemble it. If you have any questions, you can give Monotech a call, www.monotech.com. Thanks.